While I was down recovering from surgery, I did a lot of shopping on Amazon. One of the things that happened is as I had the surgery and you know, my body shape changed and everything. And so I got to buy extra clothes. So I wanna share some of those really cute things that I got with you today. I also wanna share some makeup and a few home things that I got. And of course, some purses, some jewelry, some accessories. I'm excited to bring these to you. So let's get into it right now. So let's start off with what I have on. This is a three piece loungewear suit and I loved this while I was recovering. It's super comfortable, super stretchy, three pieces. It does have the crop top, but the pants come up to where the crop top is. So it does look like almost a jumpsuit. It's so cute. And then the duster that comes off or the cardigan that comes off and you can wear it while you're in bed and keep you warm or, you know, take that cardigan off and you can use it for sleepwear if you want to, too. I just really love this. And then I also have this adorable heart necklace, has a little heart up here that lays down and then the puffy heart, the little more puffer heart right here that is on the chain and then i have these really cute three strand huggy earrings although they're a little bit bigger than huggies are normally for hoops but they do have a smaller size if you're interested in that so i just love those also let's talk about these cute sunglasses that i got these are square frame gold with the brown and the reason that i saw these is there was somebody on tiktok that was talking about their ray-bans and i was like oh my gosh those are so cute so i went over and i looked at them on Amazon, I'm like, uh, I don't think so. I am not spending a hundred dollars for a pair of sunglasses. So these were fairly inexpensive. They do come in several different colors and I just thought they were so dang cute. And yeah, so I picked these ones up just to save a little bit of cash. While and we're on the subject of fashion, I want to share with you this purse that I have that I got very recently. This looked like kind of those designer purses that they have out there, but of course it's not going to be a designer price because Again, I cannot see spending that kind of money on a purse. But what's uh, inside of it is there's a crossbody bag that you can use. I find that sometimes I just can't do these big bags. Although I will tell you that this is one of the lightest big bags I've ever tried. Now this comes in a bunch of colors as well, a bunch of different um, designs. You know, it's just way cute, but it does have the crossbody bag that comes with it. It has the makeup pouch that comes with it as well, which I thought was really cute because of its little um, tag or whatever you call that. So the bag is the same color as the purse with the cute detail on it right there. And then it did come with the little card holder um, right here, which I thought was fun for it to match the purse, but you get all four pieces when it comes to you. So I really thought that was cute and really loved the purse itself. And like I said, this is really a much lighter bag than I'm used to getting when I pick up different purses. Also, I could not wait to show you these boots. This is an over the calf boot. So it hits you about the knee. And you know what's interesting about this? I mean, it's got some cute detail anyway. It's got like this little duster that goes across the boot part of it. And of course it is the zip up part. This is made so well. The bottom of this though is really, has a great grip on it. And it's got the waffle pattern. So when I was out in the snow and worried about falling, you know, after my surgery and everything, these were perfect. And I can wear these all day long and they don't hurt my feet all day. I had them on and yeah, it's just all kinds of fun. So it has the lace up tie and then it has the insert that has the lace on it. This is just the cutest boot. I was so glad that I got this and I didn't even realize how cute they were until after I bought it. This is another boot that I got very recently. This is a little bit higher, but this is so cute to wear with skirts or if you're gonna wear tights and you know, maybe a, a sweater or whatever on them. This has the cutest little ruffle on it. It's so cute. It's the faux suede, like the Ugg boots were. Those were the faux, faux suede as well. And it's got the zipper on there. Now this sole is a little bit more flat. So this didn't give me as much traction. So I was a little bit more careful with this and it's a little bit higher too. But, oh my gosh, this was so cute with skirts and, you know, with tights or whatever you're wearing. These are just absolutely adorable. And I don't know why, but I'm super into this cream color right now, big time. I'm loving cream. Let's and talk then, about these pants that I found. I was so glad when I found these pants. Okay, I've had to wear a waist cincher for ever since my surgery. I've had to wear some sort of a compression garment because of swelling. And so when I found these, I was so excited because 
I could finally at least take and wear sort of nice different leggings instead of having to wear the garments that they gave me at the hospital. But this is a waist cincher. And as you can see, it's hook and eye closure right there. This sucks your waist in. If you're somebody that appreciates having that kind of waist control or tummy control, these are for you. And they're so comfortable otherwise. I mean, there is, you know, you're being sucked in around your waist, but at the same time, this is just a very stretchy, totally normal legging that you can wear. I have fell in love with these. I got them in navy and I got them in gray so that I could wear them all while I was recovering, all while I was recovering. And the nice thing about them is I'm going to be using them for a lot longer than that because they still give you that support around your stomach. But at the same time, you get to have just a legging that you're wearing. So cute with a tunic sweater or a long t-shirt. Just really cute. And I loved these. I'm going to talk about two more purses. This is the purse that I'm using right now. This purse is about the same weight as as that purse that I just showed you that I said was the designer one in the beige. This one is so cute with the puff detail on it and the triangle designer, the diamond, the diamond design, excuse me. I love that this is a flap over purse. I don't know when I got into flap over purses, but I do love them now. And I love that this has a closure on it as well. And it has the gold accents. So you can use this as, you know, just carry it over your shoulder or you can let that drop. And then you can use this as a crossbody bag if you want to. This truly is one of the cutest bags that I've seen in a long time. And I actually bought this separate because I just thought it was so pretty. So this is just a keychain that I just attached to it. And it's got the rose gold and then it's got the butterfly on there. It's got a butterfly up here too. I just thought it was just kind of fun to be able to put that on your purse and kind of dress up your purse. And I've just been putting it from purse to purse depending on which purse I was using. I know this is a random thing, but socks drive me crazy sometimes. Either they're too thin or they're too thick or, you know, they slide down your foot and they go down in your shoe or whatever. The other thing is, is I've gotten sucked in so many times to buying socks that have all the different colors. And then you never have the same color to put on your feet because the make to your sock always gets sucked up in the dryer or something. So I've been really loving these. It comes in a pack of six. You can get the black or the white. Just trust me when I say that these are nice socks. They're not that thick, but they're not that thin either. They're kind of just a perfect weight. They go great in boots um, and they go great in my tennis shoes as well. Well, they're the low cut without being the ones that are the the no-shows and those are the ones that slip down into my shoes so these have been really good i've really been enjoying these and i've been enjoying having them while i recovered because they were just they're just a great weight to keep your feet warm as well okay let me talk about one more purse and then i'll stop talking about purses here's another one that was a quilted purse that i fell in love with with the flap across it now what's cute about this look at this detail with the gold on it and yes there's a lot of purses in this video but you guys know I love my purses and this is my job. So I'm always trying lots and lots of things out for you. So it has the twist closure and it really just has enough room for me for the necessities. Instead of overpacking my purses, I have a tendency to do that so much. I had to grab this out of my other purse because this comes with this purse. It comes with a wallet that will hold all the accordion wallets that hold all of your credit cards. And it also came with this little pouch that attaches to the strap. This is such a cute purse. And again, I'm into this ivory beige color. I don't know why other than I just really do like them and I think they're just kind of a little elevated, a little fun. And yeah, I just thought this was an adorable purse. And really for the price for it to come with three different pieces, I thought that was really good too. And I love the detailing on it. Oh, and the strap is thicker, which I like, and it's very adjustable. So I really liked that a lot. Um, just a cute, cute purse. I really love it. Now, you guys have seen these probably all over social media. These are the knockoffs for the Stanley Cup. And those Stanley Cups are so good because they've got the double wall insulation in these cups and there's the stainless steel. They're really good for being able to hold on to the heat or the cold. 
40 ounces. Two of these filled up will help me almost get my water for the day, which is great. Has the handle on it. And I just love this because it's like 34 hours of cold. It's like 10 plus hours of, of hot coffee or whatever you're going to put in here if you're going to do something hot. But I love these. I actually just sent away for another one that is blue. I think this would make a really great gift for a dad or a hubby that's on the go all the time or a mom that has to have her coffee in the morning, whatever. I just think it would make a really great gift. Speaking of things that I think would make a great gift, these right here are two little glass containers with pumps on them that I found for my kitchen to put next to my coffee stand. And I put in the skinny syrups or the sugar-free syrups that you can buy off of Amazon or at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, wherever. But I put these on there because I wanted to just have something cute next to them instead of those ugly bottles that you buy that always have the price tag on them that come from TJ Maxx. These are a good size. I think that they're both 16 ounces. I, I want to say they're 16 ounces, but they came in the pair and you could get the silver or the gold or this was, this is the black one. Yeah, this is the black one. So I like these a lot. I love having them next to my coffee. Very easy to dispense. You could put oil in here, oil and vinegar in one or the other. You you could do if you wanted them for the di for your dish soap you could put it there they're just empty pump bottles and you could put anything you want to in there so i really like these also while i'm talking a little bit about the kitchen i wanted to show you something that i did while i was down that i'm so glad i did first of all i took all of my spices i had no idea what i had in there and i transferred all of them into these bottles these bottles come like this and they have the cute bamboo lid and then they also come with the shaker that you can put on there and they come with different labels so i think that a black label and they had this white label and they have every spice that you can ever imagine in there and so i took that and i redid all of my spices which i'll show you a picture of it on my fridge and then i also bought these magnetic holders now i had originally bought one that was like a shelf and i didn't like that at all but i love these ones and this is the black one and i think it comes probably in a silver and a white so cute these are great and they are sturdy. They will hold a lot of weight on them because they are super magnet. And you can also put them into the wall if you want to do it that way too. If you wanted to have it, you know, somewhere in your kitchen or whatever on the wall. You could use these in any room you wanted to. If you needed it in a bathroom, if you needed it in a garage, whatever, you could use them wherever you need them. I thought this was a great idea. And I was so glad that they looked a little bit more elevated and not cheapy. You know what I mean? So I really had fun doing this project. It was great great to be able to see all the spices that I had and redo that. All right, for a little bit of makeup, I have fallen in love with this mirror. And I think I showed this to you in my last Amazon one, but I want to tell you how much I love it. The reason that I love it is it has the regular magnification or no magnification on one side. And then the other side of it, it has a 10 times magnification. And then the brightness and the dimming and all that is right here on the light so it can be dimmed quite a bit or it can be just regular and you can have it all the way up right but it's also got three settings for different types of lighting like daytime office and then warmer lights so this has been a great addition and it also has this right here which makes it be able to stand up on any table surface or vanity or actually use it just for a handle to, to hold the thing as i'm using it to do my makeup I have loved this because now that my eyesight keeps going a little bit each year, I have to have some really ma good magnification that I can do my tweezing with or I can do some closer up work with. So this mirror has fit the bill and I've been loving it. And speaking of tweezing, I think I may have found the best set of four tweezers I've ever found. Tweezers to me, just for me, are like the most elusive thing to find that work well. It's like trying to find the perfect concealer. It's like the unicorn that you can never find. But this comes in a set of four tweezers. So you have the slant ones, you have the ones that are a little bit bigger slant, the regular ones, and then the teeny tiny tweezer like just the really little ones that poke you in the eye if you, you know, get them too close kidding but these are really great for removing splinters my husband all the time we use those on him so these are really good they're not that expensive i even bought my sister 
these two things as a gift and she could not believe that this was the most perfect gift for her because she's like 13 years older than me and she loved that this had magnification in it and she loved that this had all kinds of different tweezers in it for her so yeah she loved that gift i think anybody would love it also i saw this on social media very recently and this is an 18 piece brush set and i was really impressed with this since it was on amazon it was quite affordable and what i really did like about it is that you have 10 pieces of eye brushes and you know when i've gotten eye brushes in the past they've been the kind that just really haven't seemed to be good blenders or even blenders at all and i like that there was several different sizes of blending ones i also love that on the other side of the spoolie to do your eyebrows there was a really fine tip angled liner brush that you can use that one's so good for lining your upper line with just shadow. That way you can have a softer line. I just really liked that they had all of these. And then I also loved, this is so cute. They have this teeny tiny fan brush. Now, what I use this for is I've used it to go down at the middle of my nose and, you know, be able to give just a little bit better of a line there. I don't do a lot of contour with my nose because I can't do it that well, but this one does a really great job of that. Oh, by the way, this one is a really great one to do your concealer right here. So I just thought that these were all really good and I was quite impressed by the fact that they were all usable and there wasn't just a ton of those angled brushes or brushes that really didn't serve a purpose. I think if you have wanted something that had really good eye brushes in it that you might really like this brush. You guys are gonna think I'm absolutely crazy up in the night, but I wanna show you three bags, okay, makeup bags. And the reason that there's three is because as I was shopping for one in particular, the other ones came up and of course, I'm gonna try them for you guys so that you guys don't have to. This first one is more of a makeup brush case. So what I liked about this is that it has the cover for the makeup brushes. It has a bunch of different slats in there. You can put smaller brushes in there. Over here, you've got bigger slats to put bigger brushes in there. And then of course, to be able to protect them. But I also liked that it has had this little case that's on the side for your dual ended brushes now when i go on a trip i always have a problem with those dual ended brushes that they're going to get ruined because they just get thrown in the bottom of the bag well this is a specific bag just for them i mean you could put makeup in here if you wanted to and just keep this in you know a purse or your travel bag or whatever and i like that it was a little bit of a rolled up bag so when you get this full this is going to expand and you're going to have a really nice bag here so i did like this one very much and the reason i loved it was because i felt like you could put all of your makeup brushes in here and the dual sided ones and travel like that the next one again it has a part on this side right here where you can put your makeup brushes this has two tiers on it which i thought was really good really excited about that but it also has the um see-through pouch right here this is the main pouch that it has and so let me just open that for you and you can see that it opens up wide and you can put a ton of makeup in there it also has little pockets that go on this side right here so you can fit a few things down in the pockets this was a really nicely made bag as well it reminded me of that hanging toiletry one that everybody talks about and then on the front right here it does have an extra little pouch that is hidden as well and then it just has the carrying handle for a toiletry bag so i thought that one was great and then the last one was the one that i liked the best and i don't have anything in here right now because i just emptied this out but this is a beautiful makeup bag that has a bunch of pouches right here it does have another pouch on the back and then when you open it up it does have a ton of organizational stuff in there but on this side right here it has a light so you can look down in there and see all of your stuff. I was so excited when I found this. It's just so cool. So you have a ton of storage in here. You have a ton of organization. You can put all different kinds of stuff in here, skincare, makeup, whatever you decide to put down in here. And you can see it at a glance if something gets lost in the bottom of the bag as well. It's a good size. So for travel, this would be great. This is rechargeable such a fun bag i was so glad to find this bag i'm going to show you two more pair of earrings that i really fell in love with this first pair right here is a gold pair what i love about these next two pairs that i'm going to show you is this one it has the crystals or the fake diamonds 
on the front, but it also has it on the inside of the, the hoop. And these are just smaller hoops. But when you turn, you can see that diamond on the inside of the hoop instead of just seeing gold or whatever. And so it's kind of a little bit more sparkly. And then these are a little bit bigger. Let me show you how the, the difference in the two. So that's the two of them. So these are silver and they're a little bit bigger. And what's nice about these as well is it has a double hoop on there. So you get the one side that is just the plain silver and then you get the other side that has the rhinestones on it. So I thought this was really pretty as well. Really like that. I want to share with you this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Oil Mist that helped me out so much while I was recovering. It has been so hard for me to reach my legs and put lotion on them or keep everything hydrated. And this is great because you can do it in the shower. And that's what I do is I will either just spray it right onto like my arms and my legs and then just rub it in a little bit and you have your hydration immediately while you're there and you don't have to spend a bunch more time when you're out of the shower. This just made everything so convenient and so easy and super hydrating. So the oil is very penetrating and it makes your skin feel super soft. It does have a fragrance. And it's really a nice fragrance. This one is kind of a coconut um, smell to it. This has oat oil and jojoba oil, it says, in it. So it just, it really works really good. You can actually shave with this if you want to as well. I haven't been doing any shaving since I've been recovering because I can't bend over with my stomach. So definitely this is something that made my life so much easier while I was in recovery. And I think going forward and the moisture moisturizing that I'm going to be doing is going to be a lot easier because it's locking that in. You're in the shower, you get all of that water on you and you're doing, you know, you're washing and everything, but then you immediately put the oil on while you're still in the shower so good and yes it does get a little bit on your towel as you're drying off but your body oils get on there anyway as you're drying off but this smells so good and it's just a great product to be able to use while you're in the shower and save the extra step all right let's wrap this up with some supplements that really did help me while i was recovering um this is all over social media as well what this is is a liquid multivitamin and minerals and what I love about this is if you know anything about vitamins and minerals and when you take them and you take those capsules, your body has to break that capsule down and a lot of times they're made of such hard stuff that it doesn't break them down very much. But this is a liquid, so it's gonna go into your body and get absorbed by your bloodstream almost immediately, so your body's gonna be utilizing it better. So this is Mary Ruth's Liquid Morning Vitamins. This one is in the raspberry. It's it's not, doesn't taste like raspberry at all. And these don't taste the greatest, but if you just, you know, do a shot of them, it's not that bad. So this is 32 ounces of it, but it has so many good vitamins in it. And this has helped me feel so much better and give me so much more energy. So all of those things are vegan and non-GMO. And then it has the huge list of vitamins and a few minerals that it has there. I think this is a great way to be able to get your vitamins because we just don't get it in our food anymore. So this was easy to take and I really have been enjoying it now. Also, along with that, I also have been hearing all kinds of things about trace minerals. And this is actually, it's called trace minerals. Um, concentrates is what the name of the, them are. And it's the drops. It has 70 different kinds of trace minerals in here. And it's a 96 day supply. So this was really good because the trace minerals are what really has been leached from the soil and so it just doesn't get into our food like it used to so this has been a really great addition with this and i've just been enjoying taking them both because i felt so much better as soon as i did start taking them which was about three weeks ago so a couple weeks into my recovery i was trying to find something that would make me feel better and give me more energy and i feel like this has really done the, the job for me all right that's it for today's video i'm wrapping it up i hope that you did enjoy seeing all of these things that I got off of Amazon and I hope that you did enjoy it. Everything will be listed and linked in the description box below. Please take care of yourselves and let me know if there's anything in these past six weeks, five weeks that you have gotten off of Amazon or anywhere else that you've really been enjoying. I always love to hear that from you guys. Thank you so much for being with me and take care of yourselves and I love you very much. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs>